Well, hello, PGCC family and friends. Good to just uh, check in with you. Had a couple of things that I wanted to share with you and just wonderful opportunity to do that. You know, have you ever said, um, what's coming next? You know, what's coming next? And it, you can say that in several ways. In one way, we might say, what is coming next? With everything that's happening around us, seems like things are piling up all around us. We wonder, what is coming next? But another way is to say, what's coming next? And mean, God, what's coming next? From your perspective, if I change my perspective and ask God, God, what's on the horizon? What are you doing? And how can I be a part of that? That's a totally different way of looking at the future. And sometimes I have to remind myself of all of the things that's going on. I can get caught going, oh my goodness, what's coming next? Or I can say, God, what is coming next? What is it that we can be involved in that you're doing that will draw people closer to you? And that's a wonderful thing. I, I read this uh, from Psalm 90, verse 17. It says this, it says, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Establish the work of our hands. In other words, the psalmist is saying, God, look with favor upon us. What's coming next? God, look with favor upon us as we do the work of your hands. You know, that's a challenge. It has been the challenge for the church through centuries that when difficult times come, we look to God to say, God, what is the work of your hands that you would have us do that we can complete in you? And God, as we do that, bring your favor upon us in working out your plan. I like that. I want to live into that rather than be overwhelmed or distraught. And I know that that can be very, very difficult at times. But we hear God's voice when he pours his favor on us and challenges us to be a part of that work. You know, I was excited about several things that are, that are coming up for us in the near future, and I wanted just to remind you that they're happening. The first is our reopening, in a way, of our worship services on October 11th in just a week or so. And how exciting that will be. And I don't want you to miss that. If you can come and be a part of that with us, please do. We launch a series, a brand new series that I'm very excited about, and it's called 1730, More Than an Address. Well, 1730 is the address of our church building, but more than an address, what is it that the church is about? And this very first one, Pastor Gene is going to join with me, and together we're going to reminisce a little bit about the past. We're also going to talk about kind of how God produces a vision for his church and brings it to fruition, and then a little bit about the future. So don't miss out on that. If you can be a part of it and come, great. If you can't, we'll be filming those services and having those available as well. So that's the first one on the 11th. The second one is um, God's doing an incredible outreach uh, in our West Park area through Pastor Joe and his wife Sarah. They've already begun doing things, having some events. You'll hear more about that, but Boy, be praying. Someone said, you know, in the church, when something exciting is happening, kind of pour gasoline on that fire. And so I would encourage you, pour gasoline on the prayer fire right now for that work as we begin uh, in West Park. Uh, God is going to do some great things. We pray that God's favor would continue to be on that from the very, very beginning. Here's the third one. God is reestablishing ministries around here. Some of those ministries have begun to meet on site again, which is great. Some Bible studies, some group meetings, uh, some gatherings. Pray for the church. And as it kind of begins to relocate even on our site, that God would bless each of those events. As the men's ministry launches its Bible study on Wednesdays again coming up, those kinds of things. Let God be uh, using you to pray for our reaching more and more people, our growing in Him. And that brings the fourth one. Our mission never changes. Our mission to serve Christ, to reach to those who don't know Him, to be established in our own personal faith, that doesn't change. Someone said this, a pastor I was listening to recently said this. He said, 
Um, God's foundation is unchanged. God's foundation is unchanged. The Lord is no less present, and the Lord speaks no less. The Lord is no less present, and the Lord speaks no less. In other words, God is active. God is active right now in your life, in my life, in the life of the church, and in the life of the world. God is no less present. God is no less active. Boy, that's a good word for me. And I hope that's a good word for you. Let me close with this passage, just this one little verse that comes out of Romans chapter 15. Paul, as he's kind of wrapping up this letter, he says this, May the God of hope fill you with great joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Boy, that's my hope for us then that joy overflows us. And as we trust in Him, people can't help but see our joy. Would you be that with me this week, this month? As we close out this year, let's be people with great hope and filled to overflowing with the joy of God. Hey, God bless you guys, and hopefully we'll see you soon.